Good morning, campers. Hello, I am Kelly Sweeney and I will be taking over six alternate account today. Hello, how is everyone? Uh, as you can see, I've just woke up. I suppose I should actually introduce myself. I play Anne Boleyn on the Breakaway cast of six and I'm very excited. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So as I said, I am Anne Boleyn in the Breakaway cast of six and I'll be taking over today. So there'll be a Q&A, there'll be some silly things. I'll try and keep you entertained on a very special Saturday in self-isolation. First things first though, breakfast, a cup of tea and a shower and then I'll be all yours all day. So bear with, bear with. I'm going to set a challenge for everyone though. Me and my friends, we started writing haikus for the, our time in self-isolation and quarantine. And I would, I want to see some people's haikus, guys. Let's see what. So a haiku is a small poem, and the first line is five syllables. Second line, seven syllables. Third line, five syllables. And give me your best self-isolation poems. Let's see. An example to you. The day is new, folks. What day it is, I can't say. But the day is new. Go forth. Okay, so I've got makeup on. I've got real clothes on. I've done something with my hair. Let's answer these questions. Before I get started, if I don't answer your question, it's probably because I've already answered it before, so just double check. And if I haven't answered it, then you can scream at me. <laughs> if I'm allowed to say my own costume, then I'm going to say my own costume. <laughs> um, I love green. It's my favourite colour on this planet. Um, so it's a real dream come true to wear a full green costume. <laughs> and it's badass, man. It's so cool. If I had to say another queen's costume, then I'm going to say Cleves. I love them shorts. I love the waistcoat, the detail of the fur on it, Ugh, everything about it. It's so, so cool. And Jessica Niles, look, mwah, she looks gorgeous in it. I've got to say, it's a no way for me. Um, When I first heard the soundtrack, that was like, boom. Like, I mean, she's the first queen out the gate and like her song is fire, mate. It's so, so good. And I was obsessed with it. I used to like power strut to work listening to that song. So it's no way. I was lucky enough to get a private through my agent, which was great. But fun fact, Georgia Carr, who plays Catherine Howard in our cast, she got the job from an open audition. So anything can happen, guys. Oh, best thing about the costume is the choker with the B on it. Because I didn't realise this, but it's it's covering the scar because I've been beheaded. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> best part about being in six for me has got to be changing people's minds about the way they see things you know I didn't even realize half the amazing things these women did and we weren't to know were we so which is a really interesting factor when you have a predominantly American audience on a cruise who may know even less than you did about these queens and you can change their idea and make them look at it a different way and maybe look at other women in history a completely different way I hate this question. It's so hard. Thank you for asking it. It's a great question. I think I'm going to have to say Aragon. Like, No Way is an absolute belter of a tune. And she's so sick. She's, she's amazing. Hmm. I'll think about it maybe. XO baby. It actually depends song by song. Usually most of the time, yes. Or I'm, I'm at least in the top half of the arrangement but in a couple of moments me and g judge car we sort of um switcheroo on a couple of parts and darling i couldn't possibly sing that high i haven't warmed up in years <laughs> i mean they definitely all had a pretty hard go of it um usually i would say it's Catherine howard because overall in her whole life like she was just taken advantage of and it's awful and it's the worst worst Okay, but specifically with Henry, maybe it's Catherine of Aragon. You know, she was married to him the longest. She actually loved him. He had a baby with another woman. 
Um, she couldn't give him a son, and then he was just like, girl, bye, I got Anne now, bye. I have no idea why Henry VIII became a Southern American man, you know. Howdy, I got six wives here. <laughs> This is such a random question. Um, <laughs> please stop spying on my mother immediately. The restraining order will be in the post. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, I don't think she went, and, unless she went and didn't tell me, but I don't think so. Haha, <laughs> -ha, more to the question. Interesting. Um, it could potentially be Hazel's mom, as Hazel was the Berlin on the Blisscast 1.0, which is another cruise ship. So, hmm, we shall find out. Well, what didn't I have to do for the audition is more the question. Um, no, we started off with um, dance rounds first. So we learned get down and then we learned all you want to do. And that was the first day, I think. And then next we were given queens to learn songs and the open and chat as well to kind of mull over and monologues if you had them. So I originally auditioned for Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour and Catherine Parr. So I had to learn all three songs. And then you'll go into the final rounds where you'll perform each song that you've had to learn for each other. So all the girls are in the room together and you're with everyone. So everyone who's up for the job is in the room. And then you go into groups of six and you perform the open and scene together. I think overall what I love the most is the Tudor references in each girl's costume. You know, Jane Seymour's corsetry is so beautiful. It's like one of my favourite little details in there. Um, and also that all the swings get their own colour and costume. I speak to Hazel every now and again. We sort of got to speak in just because, you know, we're both Anne Boleyns on a cruise. Cruise queens, yeah. And um, she's amazing. She's so lovely. So it's very nice to speak to her a lot. Um, but other than that, no, actually. I trained at the Royal Academy of Music in London. I did the master's degree in musical theatre and I graduated in 2018, I think. So two years ago. Uh, yeah, it was like one of the best years of my entire life. Oh my god, I get it. Since the only thing we have in common is our husband, grouping us as an inherently competitive act, and as such, it necessarily elevates a historical approach ingrained in patriarchal structures. <sighs> yeah, I miss my buns. Especially because, like, it kept my hair out of my face for the most part, which is one of my biggest pet hates. Like, right now, I've got it in my mouth. Uh, and I can't do them. I'm not very good at the buns. I'm not good. It's different. It's strange, but it's cool. I like it. It's nice to have a whole audience potentially that I have no idea what to expect. You know, you have the people that expect that there's going to be a guy playing Henry. And then there's others who are like, Whoa. Also, just a side note, my gorgeous Berlin is actually doing a takeover right now on another Queen's page and Queen's support Queen's. So go and check out her takeover. Fire as many funny questions as you want. She loves a laugh too. My first job out of RAM was a musical called Unexpected Joy by Bill Russell and Janet Hood and it was at the Southwark Playhouse and it was a four female chamber musical so just four women on stage and it was a beautiful story and it was like the best first job I could have had. And then in 2019 I did the UK tour of Hair the Musical um, which was absolutely wild. It's such a crazy musical and I loved it and I was naked on stage. <laughs> Don't find photos. I am from Liverpool, how did you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm a Scouser, big up the Scousers, man. Um, yeah, I'm just currently sitting in my house in Liverpool, just getting through the days of quarantine. Oh, there has been some crazy ones. I'm sure Lizzie and Amy can vouch for this one. Um, I think definitely it's got to be the proposal, <laughs> especially because then people did think it was real. And I I'm so sorry, guys, we aren't like, actually engaged, me and Amy seem to remember getting down on the floor on my back and pretending to be a dog who wanted its belly rubbed but I don't know whether that was in the show or like in a tech rehearsal because I feel like that's too far <laughs> so I'm gonna answer this again because watching Danny play the keys in ex-wives is honestly an art form and I would love to play like half of it I can't play it an inch on the keys but praise be this is for sure the first chorus of get down when we're all behind Cleves it is so good and you can literally see my little giddy face every time like trying to be cool but getting ready to just be like yeah I love it 
firstly it's got to be all of the girls that have played Berlin be it in the past or right now um everyone is so so different which I absolutely adore and that like gave me the courage to be my version of Berlin which is beautiful <laughs> I did not mean that my version of Berlin <laughs> was beautiful because she certainly ain't I meant like that scenario is a beautiful thing to be a part of. <laughs> Little bit of inspiration in there from Avril Lavigne. She's my childhood, everything. Love that woman. And then a lot of it comes from like my best friends at home. Like there's lots of things in there. I'm like, oh, she would say that. Oh my God, she would say that. Good question. <laughs> I actually don't know. I'm still waiting for a message from someone to be like, please stop doing this immediately. <laughs> um, but Amy Bridges, who is our show captain, she's never told me off yet. So, oh my God, I used to go to the Tesco Old Swan all the time. I actually don't know why because I'm not from there, but I always used to go there for some reason. <laughs> I knew this question was coming. So the scarf says it all. And we would have won the bloody league if it wasn't for this coronavirus. I'm fuming. Um, but fun fact, I actually did used to work for Everton. So, oh God, all the time. There'd be days where I'd be like, yeah, let's just go out and do it. Like, can't wait. And then other days when I'd literally poke Amelia and be like, I'm so nervous today. And she would be too. We always seem to be nervous on the same day. Don't know what that means in the atmosphere, but... What an amazing question from a stranger that I don't know who's asked this. Thank you. <laughs> yes, there was more um, shows on board The Breakaway and they were all so amazing. I'm going to list them in another video because this one's going to tie me out. So we had Burn the Floor, which was a Latin and Ballroom show, which was amazing. Shout out to all of our BTF family. We had Velvet, which was a disco show, which was also amazing. Shout out to the Velvet family. Mwah! And we also had Sid Norman's Poor House Band, which was a sick band with some of the best singers I've heard in a long, long time, singing amazing classic rock songs up in a, one of the bars on the ship. And we did, we got to, we were a huge family together. It was amazing. Actually, I used to be a very self-conscious person. Um, really, really cared about what people thought of me and like tried to not put a step out of line, which is like really stupid for an actor to do. And I was given like real freedom from Megan and Stacey and Mel, who are our creative team, to go the extra mile and just be a bit crazy and just let it all out, which was hard at first. Like, I'm not going to lie, rehearsal sometimes were really... And like that led to me just like not really giving a beep. Um, I'm just like trying to be carefree and just like let people see the worst, the best and everything in between of me because that is just the only way to like live your life really. Darling, I'm not sure what you mean by an accent. I think I sound very much like everybody else in this country. I don't, I, I can't hear it, can you? <laughs> yes, I do have a hidden vocal talent. Thank you, Jamad. Um, I'm very proud of this, actually. It's like one of the best things that I've probably been able to do. So here we go. <laughs> Children worldwide recognize you from the show. Is that a good thing? No, no, no. The word famous can be argued. I would say adored, loved, cherished, a saviour. Now, in all seriousness, I would never, ever say I'm famous at all, but it is very, very nice for people to reach out to us and tell us how much that they love us as a cast or as a brand of six. So thank you so much to all of the queendom. I'm off for a brew. See you in two. Right, I am back and sanitized. It's the grossest noise I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm so sorry, by the way. I know I look like Deirdre Barlow, but I am as blind as a bat. And so I need to put my glasses on just for a little bit. So embrace it. Well, it is never, ever too late to go into anything, especially musical theatre. You don't need a whole life's worth of training as long as you're ready to commit to it at when you decide you want to do it. Because it's a hard, hard job to do, but if you're ready for it, you can do it. You tell me. Uh, no, I'm only joking. Uh, I mean, I'm from Liverpool, so I, we sort of get taught from a young age how to do makeup to a certain extent, but my eyebrows are saying that's not true. Um, but yeah, definitely with glitter, yes. 
Can someone explain to me why I'm shouting so loud on this bloody Instagram? Like, I don't need to raise my mouth this loud. I'm so sorry, everyone. You know what? The best, best memory is um, me and Amy did a show watch one night and um, Liv and Lizzie went in as Berlin and Seymour and it was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen to watch those girls, like, do it. It was seeing, like, the rest of the girls that I share the stage with every night, like, just killing it was, like, it blew me away, start to finish, like, tears. And it was so, so nice to see them do what they love. It was gorgeous. Genuinely, it's the, like, sisterhood of it. It's, like, having a team of, like, amazing women around you, taking care of you, making you laugh, making you cry. Like, it's, it was really special. Sí, sí, hablo español un poco. I think that is, I can speak Spanish a little. It's probably wrong because I'm learning at the minute. That is my um, 2020 goal to be Spanish. saxophone <laughs> yeah i can play the saxophone <laughs> um i've been playing it since i was eight but i'm actually not that good <laughs> um but it it does the job and uh, but i've just opened it after like six months and she is dusty uh yeah i don't do you mean like live on instagram is that i'm not very really good at like Instagram actually so like does that mean a live video on Instagram is that something that you want I know they always say like be yourself and that is good but like if you're doing a musical then you're playing someone else so you're not being yourself so play into that go a bit method on it and be like you know what like if it was Oliver like I'm a Nancy right now and I'm gonna tell Nancy's story like go for it we actually do we um all eight of us we all share a dressing room we all have our own station i was trying to find you like a funny video of us in the dressing room but they're all far too scandalous my darling but yeah all eight of us in a room hell this is so mean because like every i swear to god every time a girl from the north winter is coming gets um a role i'm literally like screaming i'm like yeah 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 yeah, yeah northern power so this is really hard okay Neither of these two girls would let me get away with saying anyone else. And it is true, to be fair. My favourite Northern Queens, because I can't pick between them, are Liv, Alexander and Elizabeth Walker. Big up the North. Bra, bra, bra. Oh my God, I'm dead. Lizzie Walker asked a question. Oh, she's got some cheek, this girl. Well then, if you're asking me that, then I'm going to say my favourite Northern Queen is Arya Stark. Just a quick update as well. Lizzie just pointed out to me that um, sometimes if you do too many things on a story, the earlier posts will delete. So much apologies if you've just joined and you've missed the beginning. But I don't want to stop answering questions because I'm enjoying them. So um, apologies in advance or in the past or wherever you are in the world with your TARDIS. I absolutely love this question. Thank you. Um, and it's 100% orange. I love that colour. And I like the pant and peplum situation that I've seen a lot of. I don't know if there's any other versions of it. Please send me pictures. I just love the orange. Okay, so very controversial, but no. And I'm, I'm so mad. And I, got, I got the job and I was like, yay. But then I was like, I have never seen the show, which is really bad of me. Um, but I could never get tickets. I was trying so hard, but I could never get a ticket. But I was a huge fan of the show beforehand, so I knew the soundtrack and, like, I'd seen so many videos of all of the other girls smashing it, so <sighs> it wasn't... I loved them from afar. <laughs> you can't ask me this question and not expect total warfare, but I will answer it. It's Jasmine Chen and Amy Bridges and Jessica Niles and Judge Carr and Amelia Walker and Elizabeth Walker and Liv Alexander. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, that old thing. Um, yeah... So the creatives told me to just go for it, do any and silly, but also fun fact, I changed it every single night. So you only saw one version of what could be. This is a great question. Um, for me, I would say it's ex-wives because it, in my opinion, it's the hardest song to do. Um, there's just so much going on. And so once that's done, you're like, woo, and the show just flies by. I love this question. Um, yes, I will say it. Purple turkey burgers. Purple turkey burgers. Purple turkey burgers. Burgers turkey purple. Turkle purple burger. <laughs> well, do you know what? Like when someone actually asks me if I'm from Liverpool or like when I actually talk about Liverpool, like it gets a lot stronger. I think it's just like I'm like 
from your roots. And like I lived in London for two years, so I'm like, no, I don't want any other accents. Leave me alone. Bye. Dream role for sure is another green queen and it's Alpha Bear. Ah. Oh my god, I absolutely love that green rock star queen. Yes, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Also, people call me the green eyed monster or the green giant. Come on, best friend, sending me a message. Um, plans for lockdown is a McDonald's, um, a Burger King, a KFC, a Chippy Tea, um, and getting my eyebrows done. God, just asked me this question. It is this, this MAC highlighter in Show Gold, and it's actually my Berlin highlighter. Ew. Oh, it's hands free. <laughs> you know what, Amy? is is good the, it's very hard to make amy laugh but i think there was maybe one time that she actually did but i can't remember what it was now she might be able to remember to remind me this is a great question actually um i did train but i didn't do a degree in anything before my master's i trained in musical theater at a college up in liverpool called rare studio and i loved it there and hello everyone at rare love you no idea how much this questions made me want to cry but laugh at the same time i miss our noodle parties at like three o'clock in the morning this question was from jessica niles who hosted our noodle parties all the time i want some noodles i want some ratchet chicken genuinely it depends on how much the dressing room wants to mess about for the night um but usually we start getting ready at six for a 7 30 start of a show i like turtles this is an unbelievable question. Yes, a thousand. Even just me. Um, once I said, um, and now he's going round like off with his head. Same. And once I panicked and went, beheaded. Absolutely the best that's ever happened though was in the awkward silence. Amelia says, um, so basically we're stuck and we all moan and move aside. And a young kid in the audience went, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> So it's like 7am, the usual morning lineup. I start on the chores and then sweep till the floor's all clean. Polish, then wax, do laundry, then mop, then shine up. Sweep again and then by then it's like 7.15. What a blinded of a question. Uh, I'm going to say Moana because she's sassy, she's feisty and she knows what she wants and she's going to get it. That is Anne Boleyn. I don't know, did I? Mummy Roberts, you're asking me these questions and I'm scared. Amy, I'm so sorry. Maybe I did. She definitely laughed once. <laughs> I'm actually not watching anything on Netflix. I just finished Brooklyn Nine-Nine though because it's the be all and end all. But I am finally watching Game of Thrones and I'm on season five and I'm obsessed. Oh my God, you know what? I actually don't think I had a single piece of garlic bread. I don't think it exists there. Like... We had like Italian nights all the time and I could never find garlic bread, but someone else did. Devastated. I think I need a garlic bread now. I um, just joined Georgia Carr for a little bit of her live then. I gay crashed it a little bit. So head over there and support her on her live. If you just saw, I actually have a scheduled family house party chat in like four minutes. So I have to run, but I'll be back. Please ask me questions and also ask me some weird questions. Would you rather and all of that? Can't wait. Bye. It's not Lucy and it's not me. So who was it? <laughs> You know what? <laughs> but maybe specifically with Henry, it could be Catherine of Aragon. Wait, is that a name? <laughs> Wait, yeah, Catherine of Aragon. 
So my first job was a musical at the Southwark Playhouse called Unexpected Joy. Wait, wh why can't I say joy? <laughs> oh. Now in all seriousness, don't scratch it yet. I knew this question was coming and the scarf says it all. And we were the blunder was elite. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why do I keep picking up labels? <laughs> You know what, actually? The, no, I got lipstick on my teeth. Arr.